Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. I'm here with Holly Dirksen, field crop pathologist with Maffrey. <laughs> quite the handle there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so yes, now the crop has advanced pretty quickly over the last week. Uh, it's been uh, quite warm now. We've had good moisture. So of course on the wheat side, everybody's talking about fusarium. What is the risk like this year and when should we be spraying? So the risk leading up to today, so the past week has been extremely high. Um, especially with the precipitation that some of the province has been receiving. Um, now that we've had a few days without rain, the risk has dropped down. Um, however, humidity or any type of free moisture in the canopy can keep your risk high. So even though we haven't had precipitation, we have had you know, humid conditions and it's kind of about that pant leg test that we talk about. So actually getting out of your truck, walking in the field, and how long are your pant legs staying wet? If it's 10 in the morning and your pant legs are still wet, chances are there's been enough humidity um, for disease to, or for the infection to occur and disease to establish if your crop's in the right stage. So now what is that right stage? So for Fusarium Heplite, the ideal timing in wheat is that early flower stage. Um, so once you start to see anthers on the head, um, so we generally say that's about three days after head emergence. Um, it can differ depending on the environmental conditions, but generally flowering lasts from three to five days. When it's super hot and dry, that period of time is shortened. Um, but when it is, you know, more humidity in the air and more moisture and not terribly hot, but it's getting pretty hot these days, um, it can be lengthened. So it's not the biggest window to begin with and can be even more narrow in some years. So um, you really have to get out of your truck and go out there and scout your fields to figure out um, what the right stage is. Just driving by, you can tell that the heads are out, but you may not necessarily be able to see um, how many anthers are starting to form. Right, and so we're in a field here where, I mean, we're, we are finding some anthers. Uh, we've found a couple in, in sort of spots, I think, where we're seeing some. So. Especially if you've got a variable field, are you looking at the main stem? Are you judging tillers? How do you sort of judge, you know, when the bulk of the field is at anthesis? Right. The major majority of your yield, um, especially in spring wheat, is really determined by your main stem. So you're going to look at your main stems for sure. Um, flowering begins in the center of the head. So that's where you'll be looking for the anthers first. If you're not seeing any in center, but you're seeing them on either the top or the bottom, then you're probably past that early flower stage on that particular head. And you really want to take an average of the whole field. Um, so, you know, walk around a bit, walk out of the headlands, because often the headlands may be a bit different staging than the rest of the fields, um, and try and get the best average to get the most heads at, at, as possible at that early flower stage. And you can kind of judge it based on if you know that it's three days after head emergence is when early flower begins, about. You can say, okay, well, my head's emerging, so I'm about three days away from it on this head. Um, your next head, you know, your head's fully emerged. You may be just one day away from that early flower stage and get an average of your entire field to hit it at the ideal timing. Now, for those that maybe head out there and they realize it's a little too late, um, let's say you're starting to see evidence of the disease. Is there, is there really a point in going in too late? Is it no. really just a yeah. matter of... Absolutely not, yeah. yeah. So... Uh, too, uh, to be a little bit on the early side is way better than too late, obviously. So if you're starting to see anthers, plan, start planning your application. Um, so you really need to be out there every day because as we said, it's progressing really quickly this year. So you need to be checking your crop every day. And as soon as you start to see anthers, start getting ready for that application. Try to avoid an application. Although it's not as bad as herbicides, you can see surfactant burn with fungicides. So try to avoid an application in the heat of the day. Um, either plan it for later in the evening or early in the morning. Great, thanks so much, Holly. No problem. Mm -hmm.